these are the people that help me and they can definitely help you guys too so please check them all out hey i'm already back with another video and that's because i thought of something else that i should share with you guys so a lot of us are resin printing our bases for our figures and if you're like me you like to print the figure separately then print the base afterwards uh, it's easier to support the model blah 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 so what i found was if i print my base and i lift it off the build plate angle it and support it when i'm done of course you got little support knobs a little bit of pooling or resin underneath even if the rest of the base prints out perfectly which this did i still need to take it and i just take sandpaper and I just rub this all over the sandpaper, get the bottom nice and smooth. So it is some post-processing work. The other thing you can do is you can print the, the base flat on the build plate. And what happens there, you probably can't see it here, but if you've done this home, you'll know. It gets a tiny little ring around the bottom, which we call elephant's foot, because the bottom layers are so over-cured because you want that adhesion that there's a lot of little extra material cured. And the effect is you get a kind of like a little extra line around it, which you can also easily just take an X-Acto and shave that off or piece of sandpaper and just run it like this and then it looks pretty good also. So those are the two ways you can do your bases. Uh, I think the bases overall, it's safer to print them just flat on the build plate because then they come out perfectly. Uh, the other bad thing is then you have to use a razor blade to remove them which is a little bit of a pain in the butt. But yeah, then again you have to deal with the elephant's foot. So what I want to tell you today, and if you look at the base on this, you see this one has very little elephant's foot even though I printed this one flat. I did that so the, the bottom would come out perfect. I wouldn't have to do any sanding. I figured a little sanding on the edge is better for me. But this one, I barely had to sand on the edge. And that's why I thought of something. If you're just printing, say, eight bases, right? Like I, I print, well, like 12 of these fit on my plate. So I'm just printing a bunch of these on, on the build plate. I don't have to worry about adhesion that much. As long as my first few layers have adhesion, it's not coming off the build plate because it's a big flat thing stuck to the plate. It's not coming off, right? And I want to minimize my elephant's foot. So I thought to myself, normally I'm doing bottom layers, uh, say six bottom layers at 55 seconds. This is on my EPAX X1. So you, your mileage will vary. Whatever you're using on your bottom, if you have a photon, maybe you're doing six bottom layers at 70 seconds or six or six. Depends on your resin, depends on everything. But whatever you're doing your bottom layers at, you're going to get this elephant's foot. So what I did was, I was doing, I actually think I was doing uh, 0.4 millimeters, uh, six bottom layers at 50 seconds. So what I did as an experiment, I, again, using the rationale that's not going to come off the build plate due to suction force because it's, it's a big flat thing stuck to the build plate already. I lowered my bottom layer time from 50 all the way down to 40. The bases had no problem sticking. It's because like, it's not like a huge model pulling it off after it's just the base, just a couple bases printing. And what happened was you still get a tiny little bit of elephant's foot, but you get less because you're not curing those bottom layers as long as you're not getting as much light leakage and, and the extra things that cause the elephant's foot. So here's my secret tip for today. If you're printing bases only, which I do all the time, it's okay to print them flat on the build plate. In fact, it ensures you're going to get really good bases printed out, whereas when you lift them up on supports, Sometimes they don't print so evenly. Just, it's harder to get them as pristine. Just lower your bottom exposure time. You can experiment. Cut it down as much as you can, and you'll be cutting down on that elephant's foot. So that's it. That's the tip for today. And then you can get bases that you print out that, you know, maybe you still have to give it like one quick pass with a piece of sandpaper, and then you've got a perfect base. So anyway, hope that helps you guys with your printing and with your miniature figures. Uh, good luck. Happy 3D printing, everyone. Thanks for tuning in.